all right everyone welcome back all right everyone welcome back now in this lecture i have pretty much done um, quite a lot in contents or curriculum section so definitely that was a lot to do so i have done this behind the scenes and i will definitely explain you each and every step one by one or step by step which i have basically implemented so we will start off by our courses so this is the course that we added and we now go to our curriculum section inside the curriculum sections you have already seen that we have added uh, the new sections options here um, uh, and obviously we have also added the inactive edit and delete button as well now let's i have also added a contents section or button as well so if i click on contents here you can see now the contents are loading and the way they are presenting is very much clean all right so here you can see we have the accordions here so if i just open and close we can also open and close all other things as well and where there are also options for audio file video uploading as well so how this actually works so if i click on this button upload content so here you can see i have a couple of options upload video content audio content file content and also write articles all right so if i click on upload video content so this gives me a uh, basically a model so inside that i give a title to that um, I make sure that is it viewable or not so by default it is selected no and then we have a description as well so as soon as I enter that so let's um, create a, a basically content so let's say testing content and this is viewable and let's also put some um, dummy content let's all take it from the internet and paste it here and click submit now as soon as i submit it you can see i have a proper dialogue uh, basically a sweet alert which says okay content edit successfully click ok and here at the very bottom this is edit content um, testing content and here inside that you can see i also have the choose video to upload because this is what i have chosen to upload the video and if i click on write article and in this uh, section so here let me just reload the page because the editor is not loading so here i can say um, testing um, article and as soon as i just let me also paste it here as soon as i submit it um, the content is added but if you take a look at here now this one had an option of uploading a video this one does not has any sort of option now the reason is that because this is a content related thing so a content can be definitely added to this section as well so a content could be just any top any type of html that you want to insert we have a lot of options of inserting uh, the images links um tables as well so all other options are definitely available here we can utilize those options so if i click on submit uh so this is added and if i now take a look so you can see this content is uploaded as well all right now how these things are working uh, i will explain you as well so first of all here i have uh, basically added an option to upload a video so if i click on choose file so and i go to download section only i can see or view those files which are basically video specific all right so which are basically a video related options so i have downloaded this one so if i click on that and click on upload so here you can see this is a progress bar as well um and it says the file field must be a type of string okay so uh, the reason is that because i have created a file form request so let's also remove this option and maybe this should be a file option here now if i try to upload it again um, this should upload this time now you can see that the file uploaded successfully 
and here if i now reload the page definitely we can also utilize this functionality as well so here you can see that this file has been uploaded and i still have an option to replace the video as well or the file which i whichever if i want to replace them so definitely they are replaceable and if i click on that, <laughs> you can see basically the file is uploaded successfully and it is also showing me as well all right so this is related to audio we have also section for videos as well uh, a file options we also have a file option as well so if you want to upload any sort of file so definitely the files option are also there okay so that's a lot of talk so how things are actually working so definitely we have controller here so inside the controller we have um, basically index so which is basically loading all our sections so um, if I go to the index.blade.php here you can see at the very bottom I have included the tiny MCE um, file so I downloaded it and here is I am basically making an AJX call so which is basically loading content and this is targeting to load contents section and um, so if we take a look at this load content so this is basically just a view file returning contents and here inside the contents so i am basically just looping over the contents whatever i have and then i am also defining the files or icons as well so basically based on type of what content it is and then the accordion so which is basically like um, it is in within the theme and then I have a couple of other files here down below, which the first is basically include. So which is basically um, content upload form and then uh, include when. Okay, so this is basically like when the file name is not empty. Okay, so basically I am conditionally loading or including this file and then include again for action buttons so if we go to action buttons we only have delete and edit functionality here if we go to the content file upload option here so you can see that we have now um, a form basically exactly the accept type is also there so if type is video so definitely it accepts video audio and type of files basically any sort of file which is image base or application base all right and then I have a form here, so which is basically um, just a form and then it is uploading the file. Okay, so within that form, I am also showing the progress bar. So this progress bar is basically, uh, basically uh, used to show how much progress it is made. And finally, um, let's take a look at our upload functionality here so this is basically really the important thing so this is normally just an ajx call nothing fancy here but the only thing that is additional here inside it is basically this xhr so this xhr basically gives us the how much file um, or how much percentage of the file is uploaded so um let's also try to replace this file definitely this will not be allowed um i am trying to upload a file which is greater than i think 8 mb so as of my current configuration i am not allowed to upload more than 8 mb but i i still want to show you something so if i go to the courses here and then youtube lms introduction and this file is basically 82 mb if i now try to click on that and upload you can see i have this progress bar is basically like progressing we can also see the um, 30 percent 31 percent increment here as well in the upload progress as well so all of this functionality is basically being handled by this xhr call so this is basically um, giving us every moment whenever there is a progress in the event so here you can see we have upload event and we are adding or attaching the listener to it and definitely this will not be uploaded because uh, you will definitely see an error popping up here as well so this is how things are actually working and the other thing is basically we can upload parallel videos as well so here if i try to upload another parallel video similar to this one 
um, I can definitely do that as well. So here you can also see we now have parallel uploading as well. So this is really important because um, sometimes you want to upload parallel items. You want to create um, contents all at once and then you want to parallel upload the thing. So you can see we are now supporting parallel uploads as well. All right. So uh, that's about it for all of the explanation. If you have any sort of questions, you can definitely ask me in the comment section. Um, or if you want any sort of specific code, I can definitely paste that code within the comment section as well. Um, the last thing that I wanted to show you is basically you will see an error popping up here that the file size is too large to upload. So still it is basically progressing and here you can see a warning post content length is basically like exceeded the limit of this one. So I'm just going to say okay and now everything is back. Uh, similarly we will also face the exact same issue here as well. So that's it for this section. Um, if you have any sort of questions you can definitely ask me. Um, in the next lectures, uh, we are going to cover the quiz sections, student sections and rating sections as well. That's about it and I will see you in the next one.